Hi, good morning. Shiva Rajaya here from vitalcoaching.com. I know this is my morning face. Well, this uh, yesterday was the first day of uh, the climb to to this uh, pass. Um, I'm on my way still to Ladakh and um, left Spiti Valley and uh, slept on this rock right here, put my tent, tiny little bivouac tent. It's the only spot in Mars that was flat. <laughs> you know, the rest is just rocky terrain like that. I'm heading up there. Uh, right now it's five in the morning. The reason why I'm taking off so early is because uh, it's way more fun to climb when it's fresh. And on the other side you have this, uh, you know, this uh, vast plains of uh, snow. And uh, if you uh, trek on that, when the sun has been shining on them already, then uh, you sink in really deep. Yesterday the climb to come over here was 12 hours of solid, you know, effort. It was way more challenging than what I thought it would be. I thought I would be, you know, just walking on this beautiful plain, meadows. <laughs> no, instead it was deep in the river. Uh, bed down in the gorge and uh, you had big cliffs on both sides uh, with uh, lots of landslides and rocky terrain and the path was maybe there half of the time and the other half was uh, it had just been taken away during the winter so uh, yeah it's very much more challenging than I expected on top of that I'm close now to 5000 meters high altitude so of course, you know, the air becomes thinner and uh, the body needs to adapt. It's always like that the first day when you come, you know, I said maybe at 3,500, 4,000. When you start reaching 5,000, it's like uh, the body and the mind needs to adapt. Ideally, I think it takes, uh, it takes a few days to a week to reach full potential. And uh, so the first day when you're climbing here with your back, you know, I have food for seven days with me, so it's a little bit heavier than what I'm, I'm my ideal for trekking, hiking. Uh, but so when you walk up, up there, up, up these hills, and this was about a 1,000 meters uh, climb down from the river in the direction of the pass. So uh, the body needs to, to adapt and just one night of sleep uh, good rest has me all pumped up again, ready for, uh, you know, ready for the day today. On top of that, during the day, you know, it's blazing sun, so it's uh, it's really, um, yeah, it's really tough, tough conditions. But, you know, why are we doing this? Well, to push a little bit to the challenge, and also I'm. Of course, while I'm walking, I'm practicing lots of techniques, you know, lots of mantras and invocations and focusing my energy on uh, on energetic uh, breakthroughs. This is part of my spiritual training. Remember that uh, in these areas, you know, Tibet, for instance, uh, you had monks going around the Himalayas like for four years on the whole pilgrimage visiting the different monasteries and going from monastery to monastery as part of their training so it's not something unusual so I have my uh, bag all decorated with the prayer flags and I have my prayer flags that I'm going to put up there in the in the pass once I get there once I pass the path the pass um, <clears throat> ideally you know, I hope it will be like five days down to Tsumoreiri, ideally even faster. But the, the whole trek is about uh, 70 kilometers and uh, 70 kilometers when you go up and down, you know, sometimes you know one day you will be doing, uh, you know, three or four kilometers. So um, hopefully on the other side, it's straight line, river going down, gentle slope. That would be the ideal, but I have no idea what I'm going to find. <laughs> now, hopefully it will be fine. Okay, to a wonderful day of bliss, joy, happiness. I'll see you soon again.